here. Welcome to a show in a glass of its own. Yes, Thames Television, the station with knockers. Excuse me, there's one now. Yes, can I help you? Tamata wakatangi hangi kuwe uwo, tamataya tulipuka kapiki monga, hora luku boka wena wakatana tahu, mata kuwe tanga nuru kawa miki tora. And what that really means is, did you know in Chicago I see the Hokkasus and the Snyder Marastical Sponge Cake off an island side of Cincinnapolis, huh? Ah! Yes, alleluia, it's the video show. And now, the man the BBC calls... <laughs> fan and welcome to show 10. Yes, it's the show we've all been waiting for. The last one of the series. And what a show it's going to be. We've got 200 Romanian dentists. They'll be drilling for you. Norman the barefoot tap dancer. And we'll be revealing the true identity of the man in the mask. Remember him? We'll be taking you over to Scotland Yard, where Shaw Taylor has been arrested for stealing stolen jewellery. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? Oh! Hello, my little cheesecakes. Uh, I have a confession to make. I am a married man. But that does not stop me being a romantic. And to keep our romance alive in a marriage, every week, my wife and I have a meal in a little restaurant that we know. Candlelight, soft music, and really smutty atmosphere. I go Wednesday, she goes Friday. <laughs> I've worn a little bamboo shoot. Did you hear about the Irish baby who refused to wear nappies? He said it took him too long to get him off when he wanted to go to the loo. <laughs> to these filthy heaps called videotapes. Here, encrusted in these filth-stenched remains, are the old remnants of old programmes and shows and commercials, one of which we're going to show you today. Empty poos. On to the next one. This is something from Australia. And this is quite serious, actually. This is a serious commercial that's actually going out at this very moment all over Australia. It's a subtle little number. Watch this. It's a bargain! Come, come, come! Another shattering announcement from Buck Off Bills. Now, <laughs> this for the first yeah. time in Australian busy history, a Buck Off all the best selling brands of just about everything. Scotch a Buck Off Johnny Walker, Brandy a Buck Off Chattel, Gin a Buck Off Gordon's, Bacardi a Buck Off, what the smell off a Buck Off. Wine, all samples, 10% off. Beer, curry, jab a two and a half bucks off, only 7 99 for two dozen. Plus, behind Uncle Bill's wines and spirits. Now, cop it again. A buck off all these spirits. Johnny Walker, Chateau Brandy, Gordon's Gin, Bacardi, Smurda, Vodka. Beer, curry, jab a two and a half bucks off on 7 99 for two dozen. Plus, behind Uncle Bill's wines and spirits, and behind Uncle Bill's black label, five year old scotch at $6.12. Hey, it's a first in, first in, <laughs> In the north, the Manners, Mossman, Brookdale, Church Point, Forest, Fall, East, Whitbound, Cola. In the south, Pants, Old Mall, Dale, Bay, South, Liverpool. In the east, Paddy, Dunham, Maroobah. Up the west, at Enfield, Whitmead and Katoomba. <laughs> Cute, huh? Anybody want to buy an empty spool box? There's a buck off. Yeah! Howdy, partners. Here we are at the Gunslinger's Jockstrap. Set him up, bartender! I really needed that drink. You know, 
I just about got myself killed ten minutes ago. I was in my hotel room, fooling around with a cute little filly, when her husband came in. He was holding a pair of 38s, and so was I. <laughs> you know, I was, I was just about to get out of there, and she said, Don't be a coward. Act like a man. How do you like that? My life's in danger, and she wants impressions. <laughs> Hey, what about the Irish woodworm found dead in a brick? <laughs> Hello, you mindless cretins, up to your knees in social security and pimples. God, I hate you. I'd like to put you all in a blender and make pleb shake. Or better still, grind you into the mincing morsels you truly are and then mash you into a pulp and pound you into a puree and pop you into the oven. If you'd like any of these recipes, why not drop a postcard to Angry at Mayfair, Thames TV, Teddington. Oh, that's better. I think it's about time we had a cosy little chat. A real cosy number, you know, like we did in the last series. Millions of you wrote in saying, what the hell was I doing? A bit more cosy. Hello. Right, that's enough of this slushy intimate stuff. Back to your sofas. Oh, by the way, did you see last week's show? Wasn't it wonderful? Unfortunately, incomplete, though. We left a bit out. This bit. Look, up in the sky. Not one of the all-time great bits. But it was hanging around, getting in everyone's way, and now it isn't. Oh, by the way, did you see that magazine last week? They've got a new invention for television. It's for performers who say irritating things and annoy viewers. What happens is, this device picks up the negative vibrations from the insulted viewers involved, transmits them to the studio, which triggers off a device which strangles the performer. Thank heavens I never say silly, irritating things. Like... <laughs> and now, Brian Ferry. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've enjoyed it half as much as we have, then we've enjoyed it twice as much as you. But now it's time to turn the cameras off and kiss the crew goodnight. We've had a song, a laugh, a dance. We've even had a fight. 
And if you thought the show was fun, we'd like you all to send your checks and all your credit cards to Thames TV, the end.